Hello everyone and I'm going to show you a quick way to upgrade your current iPhone firmware to the new 2.0 beta and also how to unlock it using the new Pune H2 by the iPhone development team. Here's my current iPhone. It's a 1.1.4. Yeah, it's a 1.1.4 and 04.04.05 underscore G baseband. Now I'm going to upgrade it to the new 2.0 beta using the Punage 2. There's my Mac, and I'm going to go to Finder. And iPhone unlock directory. And here I have created a new iPhone unlock directory which has three folders the bootloaders, firmware, and custom firmware. And here's a punage too. Now, when you go to bootloaders, you have BL 3.9 and BL 4.6. Those are the two binary files. And in firmware, I have 1.1.4. 1, 1 and here is the 2.0 beta firmware. And here's the PNH2. Now, for those who are wondering where I got the new 2.0 beta, I'm going to mention my blog here and it's available for download through torrent. So you can go to my blog by going to http colon slash slash the iPhone blog C H E I F O N E B L O G dot co dot C C when you hit return it will take you to my blog. This is the link. When you click on the link, you will get the torrent file, which has both the iPhone and the iPod Touch firmware link. And you can download the new beta firmware from there. Now, the first step, I go to the iPhone unlock folder. I open the Punage tool. Then I click the Browse IP as W. And I select the new 2.0 beta IPSW file that I've downloaded. Here's the file. I select open. Here, it says loaded IPSW, recognized version, it says here 2.0. Now, I go to the IPSW builder. Here, I'll first create an IPSW of the new 2.0 firmware, which is already unlocked. So when I use that IPSW through iTunes, I get a directly unlocked phone. So by default there are two options selected. One is activate phone and one is use dev theme custom pictures. Now I don't want the custom pictures so I uncheck this and I keep the activate phone box checked and now I click in OK. It asks me where I want to store it. I go to the custom firmware folder that I've created. Custom firmware. Save. It's patching the kernel. It's 
stacking the IBSS converting the file system it's asking me for my password I'll enter my administrator password now making the core files installation Converting the root file system. It's zipping the file. So it's almost done now. and successfully built now i have my unlock 2.0 beta ipsw firmware